First, the circus of Brexit, which marked the start of five years in which we haven't seen politics as normal. Then Covid brought the country to a halt and much of the government along with it. Now Boris Johnson wants a reset moment and a plan for public sector reform, which he's put together with the man he's keeping as chief whip. Has it gone well, Mr Spencer? Yeah, very well. You... The architect's staying in post to help make change. Are you going to stay in post? And that change all in those bits of government which were seen to have stalled. A shake-up for education with the man who led the vaccine rollout. Will he deliver catch-up for kids and reform of universities? House building changes stalled. Can the most high-profile reformer in this government restart a troubled scheme opposed by many Tories? Then taking on the judges and sorting prisons. Reform of judicial review was promised but ran into the ground. Can the new deputy prime minister sort it out? These were all areas that had become stuck and need careful unpicking. Even before the pandemic, a lot of public services were in trouble. If you look at particular issues, planning reform is quite controversial with the Conservative Party. There's issues around education reform, not just from COVID, but it's an issue the public cares about a lot. And then you've got things like judicial reform, where the party talked a lot about this in the manifesto. Major changes in Whitehall, with Boris Johnson wanting reformers in the biggest jobs. But there's a reason we haven't been seeing improvement, whether it's lack of money in education, Tory opposition to planning change, or the sheer complexity of the judicial system. Maybe new faces won't end up delivering what Boris Johnson wants. One figure who knows all three said that they shouldn't be underestimated. I've worked with these people. Nadim was my first boss. I've obviously worked on Dominic's leadership campaign, Michael as special advisor. You know, I've seen firsthand that they're doers. They like to grab hold of things and make things happen. And I think if you look at the reshuffle today, it's quite clear that that's what Boris, the Prime Minister, wants to see from this government going forward. A Whitehall reshuffle for more normal times, finding an agenda for the next phase of his premiership. But will events allow? Sam Coates, Sky News.